Hi everybody, we're back in our bird workshop and uh, yeah, it's about this book, A Knitted Guide to Knitted Birds. And uh, we're showing you different things from the book that you can do uh, in addition to knitting the birds. Uh, we've already gone through the dipping of legs in uh, lacquer paint, as you can see on our hands. And last time we showed you the beak. Uh, and today we are as haute couture as we'll ever be. Uh, we are doing embroidery with sequins and we are also working with feathers. Yes. So very, you know, fine work, uh, which is really fun. We used to have a background in fashion and uh, in the old days we'd collect swatches. So we have tons of beautiful embroidered fabrics that we usually like recycling. Yeah, and we don't throw things we away. We don't throw them away. So you can see here another, another beautiful little thing here, full of beautiful sequins that we can reuse. Or you can buy in hobby shops. Yeah. This is different things. We, we like this. This is for vanilla. Yeah, usually when we buy <laughs> vanilla in Norway, we get the tubes. We, we keep the tubes. It's so beautiful with the beads and the sequences. Yeah. And today we're going to show you how we embroider on the birds uh, to obtain the beautiful effect. These are our paradise birds. Yeah, and they are made with uh, embroidery yarn and smaller needles. Yes. So these are smaller than the other birds we mm -hmm. worked with. And you need like two balls of two or two, cones, two skeins. skeins of yarn for, for a bird. And we, we like to put sequen sequences. No, sequence. Sequence <laughs> on the birds. And it's very important that you do that the right way. Yeah. So like on, the, on this pink one, we started on the end of the body, like next to the tail, and we worked our way up. So the sequences has to be on top of each other. Sequence, sequence has to be on top. But there's many sequences. Sequence. Sequence. Okay. The sequence has to be on top of each other. So they're like a shell. Like a fish scale. A fish scale. So they need to overlap one over the other, over the other, over the other. Yeah. So that it looks like fish scale, or in this case, bird feathers as well. Yeah. But on this one, some birds, we start next to the tail and we work our way up. And on this one, I started to show you, you can also work from one side and up and then the other side and up and you finish with one line on top. So every time you put your finger like down, which you do a lot of times, mm. they should follow, you should that follow direction. the sequence. Yeah. So Arne is going to demonstrate one row. I'll show you a few sequ sequence. sequence. So, so I finish this side, I go along the line from the decreasing and mm. the increasing. So I just sew them close to each other. This is another blue, but I don't care because you won't see it anyway. So. You start next to the hole where the feathers are going. And then you, you place the sequence like on the bird like this. You put your needle in front of the, se the sequence and you... Sequin. Sequin. And you it's one. <laughs> that, you put it up and make a, a knot just to be sure. So you have the first one and then the yarn, the, the thread is just in front of the first one. What's it called? Sequin. Yeah. You put number two on your yarn, on the needle and the thread and then you place that on, on top, top of the first one and you make a new knot. No, I lost the yarn, the thread. Yes, you did. I did. Uh, and you sew that again in front of the second and tie a knot. Tie a knot just to be sure that it doesn't go away. So that's two. <laughs> and then you can go on forever. Yep. Do a few more so that people can see. Just 
go crazy with your sequence. Yes, yeah. that's the best way to do this. As crazy as possible, just too much is away. never enough. No. no, especially on these little birds. One more. So. Like this, then when you finish the first line like this, you start again. So let me show on this side. You start again from the back next to that hole. And then you work your way up again. So should I unloose some more you sequence? Can unloose sequence. Release, Release from the fabric. So this will be a very rare bird. A bird of paradise. It's a rare bird from paradise. Most of these birds are very rare. I think this is enough. I don't think you want to watch me no. do this for hours. No, you don't, because you want to start on your own project. Yeah. But now you get like... You get the you main idea. The idea. And if you look at the birds we have in this display, we have one with pearls and beads. Yes. And, and sequence. sequence, like a crown. Then we have this one, the blue, with the blue beads. This is just the, uh, the silver, like a shell. Mm. So you can, now you can just make all the birds you like and yeah. put them on the branch, on branches like this, like we do, and yeah. put them out for display. When you finish the sewing, wow. you just dip the feather in with glue and you start to fill this the back, hole, the hole yeah. with feathers. Then you can make your own strange paradise birds. It's very rare. This is a spotted uh, split tail. Split. Oh yeah, spotted sp split tail. That's a great it's bird. It's a spotted split tail from Valdres. From Norway. It's yeah. very rare. Mm. So there you go. Only you the go. imagination will set any limitations to whatever you want to do. And use all the good things you have around in your house. Your feather buas, your yeah. pearls. Anything you want. Anything. And the book is already available in Norway, Holland, Denmark, and soon to be available in Germany, America, France, you name it. So uh, have fun with the birds. Uh, we want to do a big display, you know, like in the Victorian era when taxidermy was popular and they do these gorgeous displays of hummingbirds and leaves and butterflies and branches. Well, we're doing our own, but we're knitting ours. So we're going to add more branches. We're going to add more birds with sequins and feathers. And we're just going to keep going and going and going until we have a massive display. So uh, thanks so much for watching. And uh, remember to tune in every Sunday uh, for new episodes uh, of Arna and Carlos and our adventures. Bye. Bye.